Hello everyone, this is Rakesh here and once again welcome to the my PLSQL tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to write the PLSQL function. So that is a topic which we are going to discuss in this session. So let's begin. So guys, let's have first look on the syntax part and then we will write one simple program. Okay, so let me write over here syntax of the how to create a function. So guys, as you can see on the your screen, this is the syntax of how to create a function in Oracle SQL PLSQL. Okay. Now, one thing you can notice over here, I have highlighted few things just like this one, this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. These are called as a user defined things. Okay. Means uh, as per the user, they can give it. For example, uh, function name. Function name can be uh, defined or declared as per the user requirement. In a similar way, parameter name. Parameter name also can be defined based upon the user requirement. So, what I wanted to say that whatever things I have highlighted, that things are user defined and apart from that, all are keywords. Just like for example, create, replace, function, in, out, in, out, is, as, all these things are called as a keyword okay now let's understand this syntax what exactly this syntax is so let's go to the first line which is nothing but your create or replace function and then function name so what exactly this means this means that create a function this means replace a function if already function is available with this name okay and this uh, tells that this is a function if i have uh, written over here procedure then it it tells that it is a procedure okay but i am looking into the uh, function syntax so that is the reason i have to write over here function and then after that function name whatever the function you wanted to give you can give that name okay after that if you wanted to define the or i can say that if you wanted to pass some input parameter or output parameter or in out parameter then you can give that parameter to the function like this so second line is nothing but that only defined okay so over here let's understand the second line if you wanted to pass the some parameters to a function then how you can pass so you can pass like this so this second line tells that so this is optional you can see over here uh, square bracket i have given it means it's a optional now if i wanted to give or uh, pass some input parameter or output parameter then how i can do it i can do it like this opening braces then closing braces and then i can give the parameter name and whether it is input type of parameter or whether it is output or it is input type of parameter that uh, thing i need to give over here and again this is optional okay after that what i need to give i need to give the data type what kind of uh, data type i have for this uh, variable okay so that i think uh, i need to give over here now uh, coming on to the third line uh, third line tells that what kind of parameter you are returning whether it is number type or whether it is uh, a character or what kind of parameter you are returning or i can say that what kind of variable you are passing to your calling function so that you need to define over here and this is nothing but your keyword which tells that i am returning something of what type this type okay so this is nothing but your return and then return type and this is a major difference between the procedure and function if you have seen my procedure video in that this line you cannot find it or you haven't seen it okay so what i can say that uh, the major difference between the function and procedure is nothing but function returns the value and procedure doesn't return any value okay so that is a major difference however couple of more differences will be there in the function and procedure that we will discuss in the upcoming videos okay now moving on to the next line which is nothing but uh, this one uh, fourth line is or as either one of them you can use it after that somewhere you can declare some variable that we will see in the uh, our uh, simple program okay 
after that i have written begin and end in between this you need to write your logic whatever the logic you wanted to write that you can write it over here okay so i hope you have clear with the syntax now let's go to the sql developer and let's write the one uh, simple program okay so let me take down this one let me clear this one now if i wanted to write one uh, simple uh, function then how i can write i can write like this create or replace function and then function name let's say for example fung okay uh, my uh, underscore fung i wanted to give this now okay after that i i need to give the input parameter over here if i wanted to pass but i do not wanted to pass right now i wanted to pass or i wanted to write simple program or simple function then i can skip that part okay after that what i need to write i need to write return okay and then what thing i wanted to return number thing i wanted to return because i i am going to write the function which returns the sum of salary from the employee table so that is the thing i am going to write so over here uh, uh salary will be of course number and if i am uh, writing uh, some other logic then depending upon that logic i need to give the parameter over here okay after that is keyword i am going to use and i am going to declare one variable uh, maybe let me take this now okay so that it will be clear for you uh, i am going to use over here total variable total number and then 10 comma 2 and i am going to assign some default value as 0 and then what i am going to do i am going to write begin and then end okay and then slash and then i am going to write over here some logic which is nothing but here select sum of salary into total employees okay that's it correct that is what i am going to do and then after that what i am going to do is i am going to return the return the total so that is what i am going to do okay now uh, let me take it down so that you will understand better so this is how we need to write the function correct now you can see over here my underscore func is not available over here so if i wanted to check that whether this function is already available in the database or not then what you can do you can go to the your user uh, right now i am in the sys user so there is a reason i am going to sys user and then inside that if you expand this then you will get the function okay function you need to expand the function inside that function you need to see whether that function is available or not so you can see over here my underscore fun is not available over here so i don't have any issue over here so if somebody ask you uh, boss i'm giving the username and i'm giving the function name please check and let me know whether this function is available or not then how you can do you can do with the help of sql developer you can go over here and inside that user you need to go to the function and then over here you can check it so this is how you can check it now i'm giving one assignment to you and you need to tell that in the comment box what you need to tell uh, this is how you can find the function whether it is available in the database or not now i wanted to know you from your end uh, if i will compile this function then this function will store in which table from which table i can come to know whether this function is available in database or not so that thing i wanted to know in the comment box from your end okay so this is assignment for you okay guys so let me compile this i hope this will be get compiled so i'm getting some error over here so what that error is so this is into i have forget it about over here now I hope this will be get compiled so you can see over here this got compiled okay now uh, this function will be available over here under the sys user under the function this will be get available okay so let me compile over here so you can see over here if you will refresh then it will be available my underscore fun is available over here so 
uh, this is what I want to tell okay now if I want to see the definition of this function then how I can do I can do with the help of clicking on this and then there will be one tab will be get open so inside that you can see okay so this is how you can do it now I wanted to call this function then how I can do I can uh, call with the help of one uh, plsql block i need to write the one plsql block in order to call this function okay so what i need to do i need to simply uh, over here i will use this function okay and uh, over here i will write over here declare begin and then end there is no need to write this one over here uh, however i need to write over here this c variable because c variable is going to hold the value whatever this function will return okay which is nothing but your sum of salary okay so let me uh, run this function so let me clear first this one and let me run this one so you can see over here salary got displayed over here correct so 5179 uh, uh, 51789.4 so this is nothing but your sum of salary from the employer table okay now let me write one over here one parameterized uh, function so for that i will take a ready made uh, i have made already one function uh, over here so this is the function i have written already and over here you can see there is no difference only the difference is i have passed the parameter like this and i have made over here in in means it's an input parameter only okay it is not output or input output so this thing i have explained in uh, my procedure uh, video in that very clearly i have told that what exactly in means what exactly out mean and uh, all these things okay so <clears throat> this is how you can do and what exactly this function will do this function will do the uh, it will return the salary of particular employee so uh, what it will do it will receive a, some employee id from calling function and it will look into the employee table and it will return salary of that employee so that it will do so let me run over here so this also got compiled so let me run over here so you can see over here this got compiled now this function will be available over here my sum something will be there over here somewhere okay so let me compile or let me refresh so this we this is available over here okay now i can call this uh, function in my plsql block so what i will do i will simply use over here uh, maybe what i can do i can uh, like this i can pass this employee id to this my function okay so let me clear over here so so you can see over here salary of this one is nothing but 8843 so this is how you can write the uh, function in your plsql uh, database or i can say that plsql program okay now how you can drop this uh, plsql function so you can drop this plsql function with the help of drop command so what i need to do i need to use the drop command so drop command is nothing but <laughs> drop uh, function okay and then function so this this function will be get disappeared over here once it is dropped so you can see over here this got dropped and if i will refresh this then this function my sum got disappeared so this is all about the function i hope you have understood what exactly the function is and how you can drop it and if you wanted to support me then please please uh, hit the like button and please subscribe this channel thank you so much for watching for the video bye bye take care